Guys, when I say a gun is insane, I mean a gun is insane, and it takes a lot to impress me. This new 50 cal is absolutely crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm at Squister, and today we're here on Layton, and oh, there's a moose, and we're gonna be trying out the new 50 cal, and I forget the name of the name of it. It's called the Kerman. This thing is an absolute moose dominator, and considering the fact that the moose great one came out, and right now, as current time, I'm re I'm uh, recording uh, this video. I'm live right now on YouTube when I'm recording this, and as you can see in the top right hand corner, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but you can see the little stream box thing. Um, we're gonna try out on this moose and this is the first ever kill with the new muzzle loader and of course you know it's a single shot like usual that's the only thing that really sucks but wait hold on let's see how far 270 all right so as long as we set this let's see what it can zero to 164 we'll just aim normal and see what happens it's really hard to aim with it's really really heavy gun so it's really sensitive for my guy the heavier the gun the more wobble the guy's gonna have and I think it weighs like of course she puts her head down I think it weighs like seven kilograms or something I don't know they do it in kilograms I'm not sure so that was the sound it's absolutely amazing sounding did I get her I don't think we got her Wow, that was not a good shot, but I love the animation. Here goes the reload animation. 30 seconds later, not even 30 seconds, probably like a minute later. Takes so long. Just keeps reloading. And reloading. Probably shouldn't be recording this whole thing for you guys, but oh well. <laughs> I'm going to force you guys to watch it. Alright, there we go. That was the whole reload animation. Alright guys, that female didn't die. I tracked her for a minute. I made a clip, but I just deleted the clip so you guys wouldn't have to see me failing because I <laughs> I probably should have put it in so y'all could see it, but oh well. But we have a diamond potential moose right here in front of us. Uh, it's a level 4. It's, of course, it's giving us a butt shot. I'm going to try to take it with the four or the 50 cal. And hopefully he'll turn eventually. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll head up there. But he is, uh, Jake's just blowing up my chat right now. <laughs> um, but basically, we're going to run up there and try to smack him into next year with this thing. And by golly, worst, I mean, best case scenario, we'll have ourselves a diamond moose. Which there's a very high chance that it will not be a diamond moose. But hey, it could be a diamond moose. Alright guys, I just ran back to the outpost and grabbed the moose color, so if the moose is not, or if the diamond potential level 4 is not a uh, broadside, we're just going to call him and then try to take a heart shot, which I want to take a heart shot with a 50 cal to see how good it does. And we're not off to a very good start so far, excuse the voice crack. So is that, I think that's him right there. Oh, that's a level 3. Where did the magnificent level 4 go? Hopefully I didn't spook him. I have a feeling I did because I do that a lot. Alright guys, so unfortunately I went back to the outpost and I keep coming back and back and back and the 4 is not popping up again ever since I went to go get that call. So we're going to have to take him another time, probably in one of the live streams, tune in every day at 6.15pm, link in the description. So what we're going to do to just test out this muzzle loader is I'm going to try to take a good shot, aim a little bit high on this level 3 right here, and pop, is that a good shot? It hit him for sure. Come on, baby, drop down. <laughs> that was another bad shot, wasn't it? Well, that kind of sucks. I'm not too impressed with this muzzle loader so far, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Let's pull out the 300 and just whack one of these ones over here. Because you already know what the 300 does. Hit her again. That's absolutely hilarious. Alright, puppy search. We're gonna go try to get this female we smacked with a 300. I already looked for the level 4. He didn't die. There's no pressure. <laughs> I don't know why it's muzzleloader, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear. All I know is that the 300 only made this thing run like 20 meters. So, let's take a look at the shot with a 300. Look at that. Long shot with a 300. Man, this thing is amazing. Alright guys, I just found a whole nother herd of moose, and there's this one up here at 300 meters, and I'm gonna just aim like really high, and we're gonna give this muzzleloader a third try. Oh crap, I forgot to reload it. Wow, now I gotta stop the clip. Third time's the charm. 
Hopefully this thing will work and he stays broadside. Let's give this thing another try. All right, guys, here we go. I set it to 164 and aim extremely high. And then hopefully Dunsmack came in the next year. I'm going to try really hard on this one. Now that I know how to... Guns take a lot of getting used to. That looked like... Okay, that was a good shot for sure. Wow. Wow. When you aim to like... I don't know. I think I was not to the right range at the beginning uh, for the first two shots. Because I know I was definitely more than 164 yards and I aimed normally. So, if your range is right, I think this gun's really OP. Y'all seen how good that moose dropped. Like, let's go take a look at the penetration and stuff on this. Alright guys, so I just walked up on the moose. We're gonna go take a look at the penetration on this awesome gun. So far, looks, animations, all that. We got a vital hit, obviously. And what's his bleed rate from this? I'm trying to find a blood splat. Oh, here we go. Oh, bleed rate high. So, for those of you that don't play uh, Call of the Wild, the bleed rate's basically how much blood he's losing. And... No ma even with the 300, a double long shot, with the 300, if it doesn't drop him, the bleed rate will be medium. So... Depending on what kind of shot we got with the moose, let's see, we got a lung heart shot. So that's why the uh, bleed rate was so high. So as for dropping, the bullet dropped a straight one foot. Because as you guys remember, I aimed up there where the crease starts in the leg. And it dropped down by his heart, which I'm not complaining because I was 300 meters and I had it 0 to 164 because that's as good as it'll go. But as for penetration... Definitely more than the 300, but the plus side of the 300 is it's not necessarily uh, auto or uh, semi-automatic. It's just like you know, shoot once, re, re cock it, and then shoot again. And as for penetration, I'm not complaining with this thing. I say a hundred out of ten on as for penetration. Is it as much as a 50 cal suplock? Definitely not. But am I complaining? No. This is absolutely amazing. This gun is phenomenal. Alright guys, we just arrived here in Hirschfelden, and we're going to do an accuracy test on this uh, thingy and see how far it can shoot. So we're going to start out with 50 meters. We'll take it easy on the old guy, you know, you know, you know, you know. Put it to 8, we're going to zero this thing for 82, so we should be able to aim perfectly normal. Drop a bullet in there. So it hit, as you can see over there on the right, it hit exactly where we aimed at, so that's perfect. So 82 meters is good for 82 meters and less. If you're closer than like 30 meters, I'd aim low. Let's see what it does if we aim low. If it hits high, then we know it is a little inaccurate. So it actually did hit right where we aimed once again, and it almost hit right in the middle, so that's another bullseye. Oh, it's got a... My dude's losing his breath. Like I said, it's super uh, heavy for my guy because it's a really big gun. Put some more shots into it. And as we're in Hirschfeld, and y'all can see, it's semi-automatic. So, <laughs> pretty cool. I like it. Look at all the smoke that comes out. Oh, uh, hip shot it a little bit. Let's see what we can do worth a hip shot. I mean, I know no, none of you guys are going to be using hip shot, but... Okay, we completely missed the target that time. Not really hitting it. Let's aim right here, like that. Well off. Oh, I moved it. Okay, we still missed the- Oh, no, we hit really low. We hit right there. That's right where we hit, right there. And I do enjoy hitting this thing, or shooting this thing in Hirschfeld, and it's really fun to shoot in general. So as for 85 meters and less, this thing's absolutely mind-bogglingly amazing. We're gonna start, or we're gonna move to 100 meters now, so we're pushing it just a little more. Uh, let's get through the scope here. We're at a, we're zero to 109. We're gonna put it right in the middle. Aim normally. As for accuracy, absolutely amazing at 100 meters. As you can see uh, on the right, right there, the target display, the green dot, that's the last shot I took. So just to demonstrate, we'll hit down here. And as you can see, I hit the green shot down in the bottom left there. And there is the bullet hole. We can clearly see it through the scope. We'll take a couple more shots. So as for rapid fire, you would never be able to use it. But as you're in uh, Hirschfeld and doing target shots, this is what will happen. Right, and now we're going to shut off the 100 meters, and we're going to push a little more. We're going to go straight into 200 meters, set it to 164. We're going to go prone, just so that way we can get more of an accurate shot. Let's move up a little bit. And as you can see with the new update, they added these little bullets on the ground. And these are just like, just for extra. They're just right from the uh, map. They just, they add a little more detail. Things, little things is what people don't notice, and a lot of times people don't notice that. And 
like you know little things that they put in the detail and time to do you really need to congratulate ew on that we're gonna aim normal here and we hit really really low on that so there is a little bit of a bullet drop let's line it up in the middle aim high okay we did hit a little high that time let's aim a little less high and that was a bullseye right there so in order to hit the bullseye when you're 0 to 164 you're gonna have to aim right above the black square and as are the black circle and as you can see I got another bullseye another bullseye and yet oops Another, oh, that was in the ring, but not a bullseye. <laughs> yeah, let's push this thing to the max, guys. We're going straight up. Oh, we're going straight up. 450 meters with the muzzle loader. So let's pull out the Argus. Y'all already know how it is. This is going to be insane. So if we can hit the target in the first place, that's a big plus side. So we're going to aim way up here. We missed, so we still need to aim maybe higher. Okay, maybe lower so much smoke I can't even tell what's going on still missed the target so <laughs> definitely 450 meters is pushing it here with the muzzle loader I'll take one more shot oh my dude is dying literally dying <laughs> this poor guy I mean I'm prone so we shouldn't be shouldn't be that bad let's take one more shot to the left maybe to the right I'm just so determined to hit this way at 450 meters oh we hit it there we go we had the second target and it was pretty pretty high right there and yeah we hit it right up on the top anyways guys thanks if you watched it to the end of this video make sure you guys like and subscribe it's much appreciated i do put a ton of time into my videos considering the fact i'm doing this while, my, while i'm live right now so i got chat to read and i'm trying to do this because i'm trying to multitask with school in the morning and i gotta go to bed because i'm exhausted and all that thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe join the discord server if you're interested in joining the esports team it is free to join right in the description thank you guys so much for making it to this point have an awesome day this is luke signing out.